Hello everyone. Let's take a look at a new open source model called Mistral AI. This is a real open source project with an Apache 2.0 license, meaning it can actually be used without any restrictions. So even for commercial, personal, really whatever you want to do. This is a 7 billion parameter model that claims to have comparable, if not better performance than Llama 2 13 billion or 34 billion models. The way they achieve this is actually done through what's called a grouped query attention inferencing and also sliding window attention for dealing with longer sequences with a smaller overhead. If this is actually true, uh, the project is kind of fascinating in that while with quantization, we're now able to run smaller models like 7B and 13B on our local machines with consumer grade hardware. The performance of these models are still not quite there, especially when you compare them to let's say a open source 70 billion model or closed models like GPT-4. With that said, let's try this model out on a Mac using Olama and see if it has any promise. <laughs> Actually, the way they announced this model is kind of funny because they just tweeted a magnet link and there was actually no information about this model, um, which is kind of funny. But yeah, for us, let's try this out using Olama. All right, let's navigate to the Olama website. I'll put the link in the description and just go ahead and download and install it. Um, I know it supports other operating systems as well. I think it recently came out with uh, better Linux support, but for Macs, it follows the typical install process where you move the app into the application folder. So once that's done, just launch the app and you'll see a little icon in the menu bar. There's actually no GUI for this app as well. So we have to interact with it using the CLI and some commands. For context, this app will let you run tons of different open source models, quantized models as well, which includes the Mistral 7B. So once you have it installed and launched, let's go back to the Olama website and top right corner here, you'll see a page for models. As you can see, there's tons of other models in here for you to try out, but let's scroll down and find Mistral AI. All right, on this page, there's some more background information about the model and some instructions on how to use it with the Llama. Um, but the tab or the information that we're interested in is the tags tab here where we actually get the name of the model. Uh, Mistral comes in two variants, text and instruct. I'm gonna pick the instruct one so we can do question and answers. If you're a little unsure on which models to get, selecting the latest one, called actually called latest, is probably not a bad idea. Uh, but if you're looking for a little bit more context, I'll put a link to a video where I walk through how to understand the various segments of these model names. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm going to select this one, instruct uh, Q4KM. So simply copy the name of the model here, and now we can switch over to the terminal and fire up Olama. Let's start by making sure Olama is installed correctly and it's in our terminal path. And okay, it is. And let's see the help command. Okay, now let's paste in the command we got on the models page. So this has the run command, which will download the particular model if it's not already installed and put us right into a prompt so we can use it right away once it's downloaded. Okay, now it's downloading and I'll fast forward this a little bit. And it's going. Okay, as you can see, it put us right into a prompt where you can chat with it right away. And I'm going to put in a prompt where it's going to generate a lot of token just to see how fast things are. Oh, wow. And as you can see, because this is a 7 billion parameter model and also quantized at 4 bit, it's actually really fast and very usable, I would say, for doing things locally. And yeah, and this is in real time. I'm actually going to switch to a different Olama UI for the next few questions. 
for the first question, I'm going to try this riddle. I think almost all of the models that I've seen, including GPT-4 and Claude 2 have gotten this wrong. So I'm not really expecting much here, but here it goes. So Sally has three brothers. Each brother has two sisters. And because Sally is one of the sisters, they should only have one other sister. So yeah, as you can see, I don't know if this is two including Sally or two additional to Sally. And yeah, this I'm going to say this is not right. The reasoning seems logical though. For this next question, I'm going to go a little bit more technical and ask it to write a little cron tab that runs every 10 minutes and also saves the log to a log file. This looks good to me. Yes, the cron tab is right and the details are good as well. Okay, a plus one for that question. For some reason, a lot of the smaller models, open source models, got this wrong. So the answer we're looking for here is just Spotify, LTD. You're basically parsing from the string. Perfect. Okay, amazing. Another point for that. And for this other question, I'm just going to ask it to write a short email. Something we could use on our local machine versus going to ChatGPT. So a quick email about why I won't be able to make the meeting next Tuesday. Let's see. Okay, response is looking good. It's telling the, the re recipient why I can't make it. Apologizes. Looks okay. At first glance, this looks much better than Llama 2 at 7B, but you might have different results, but so far so good. So please give this a try, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.